Happy Monday. It's Pastor Christy, and I want to share with you some thoughts about the end of Second Chronicles. As I was reading this, the, these chapters, finalizing, it was talking about King Josiah, and he was one of the last good kings that was recorded in the histories. And what King Josiah saw was this revelation from Moses, and he wanted to return to what was what God originally intended. And I think about what God intends for our lives and what we think is right and what God deems is holy and just and right. I think for a long time, we settle. We settle with what what is and we forget about the rest of what could be and what God is really intending for our lives, for our world, for our communities. And I think about where we are and how much we desire a certain way of being, but somehow we're forced into this new way. Maybe by looking at these scriptures, as we read through the Bible, we can see that God is intending a different way than we expect or imagine. Now, as we see in scriptures and as we see in life, that's tough. It's not easy, it's messy, it's frustrating, but there is something good coming in and through all of that. And I hope that you read these chapters. Chronicles is a tough book to get through because there's this good king and then there's bad kings and then there's fights and there's frustration and you wonder where God is and I think they probably did too. And maybe you're wondering where God is in this and talking to people, whether they're experiencing positive tests of COVID or they're seeing families being separated from one another, or they're stuck in a situation or they're seeing a financial crisis. It's tough to see where is God, but God is with you. Just like God was with the people all along through Kings and Chronicles and the histories. As God was with the people as they were in the desert wandering for 40 years until they became the people that they had hoped for when they entered the promised land. And we too have hopes and dreams and desires to return to what we understand as normal, but we're finding new normals all the time. And I hope that you find respite in these new normals. I see people connecting in ways that maybe they didn't connect before, but we're also missing these deep connections of seeing one another face to face. And we get that too, and it's hard. But God is doing a thing in our world in our community, in our church. And I hope and pray that whatever we're going through right now that is so hard and heartbreaking, that we know of God's mercy and justice and life-giving freedom as we cling to God in these hard times. May we also remember to cling to God in the joys that we see too. Let us pray. Dear God, in whom we live and move and have our being, may we see your revelation, your new thing that you are doing. May we cling to you and return to you in all that we are, say, and do. In this tough time, may we see what good you are doing in and through us as we connect and bond with one another in new ways. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.